Greetings Esplanade, Tess Gregory here, your lifestyle manager at Esplanade up at Wiregrass Ranch. So I just wanted to reach out to all of you here and during this time of social distancing, we have the opportunity to cover a couple of topics, things that you can do while you're at home during this time to keep you busy. Something I really like to do around the house is gardening. So today we're going to talk to you a little bit about putting some plants in the ground at your home. Every, home, or every plant that you're gonna to see today on our video is an Esplanade approved plant, so you are welcome to add them to your garden if you would like. We're gonna cover all of the tools, all the plant material, and everything that you need to start your little garden at your own home. So, we've got all of our materials here. I'm gonna have a little seat here and introduce you to our plant material. We've got some foxtail ferns, some crotons, and a yucca palm, which we're going to put into our plant bed here behind me. On the right here, I've got some mulch or whatever ground cover of choice that you would like to put in your garden, and I have some gardening soil. I also picked up a little bit of fertilizer, which we're not going to put in until the end because the plants, when you pick them up from the nursery or the gardening store of your choice, it actually comes with fertilizer already in the pot. So the root bulbs are already fertilized. You don't have to put the fertilizer in the hole once you dig it. So thanks for joining me. And we're gonna go ahead and go through a little tutorial on putting some beautiful, healthy plants in your garden. Here we have our croton, foxtail fern, yucca palm, gardening tools, our mulch, garden soil, and fertilizer. So once you are sure that you have all of your materials, your plant materials, your mulch, your soil, and all of your tools, then the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is prepare the surface and the soil in your plant bed. So I've got my rake here that has metal prongs. You'll wanna use a metal prong rake as opposed to a leaf raking rake here to move the soil in the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and level the bed out by moving the soil around with my rake and kind of prepare the area for the plants to go in. So now that you've got your surface area all leveled out in your plant bed, as you can see behind me, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and take all of your plants and place them in your plant bed while they're still in their pots. You're gonna to wanna to do this prior to digging any of your holes so that you can kind of come up with a design that you really like. Make sure that it spatially makes sense and that each plant has enough room for their roots to grow. So you can see behind me, I've got the foxtail ferns here in the front, and then I've got my crotons in the back there, all in a horseshoe shape, highlighting my yucca palm in the center. It's tall, it's big, it's beautiful. I think that this is a really great layout. So if you'll follow me right over here, the next thing that we're gonna do is start to dig some holes for our plants. Now, before you start digging, you're gonna to wanna to use one of your tools here to mark a circle around your pot. You're gonna to wanna to do it in a diameter that's about three to four inch, inches wider, meaning away from the pot on all the sides, so that when you go to put your plant in, you have enough room to fill in with garden soil around it. The hole that I'm gonna dig is gonna be about six inches deep because you want a little bit of the top of your root bulb once you remove it from the pot to be exposed with your plant. So I'm going to go ahead and mark my circle for my diameter right now and then we're going to dig a hole. All right, I've got my circle all marked out so I'm going to go ahead and remove my plant. I'm gonna switch tools here. I'm gonna go ahead and start digging this hole out. Now that you've got your hole all dug out and ready for your plant, I'm gonna show you how to properly remove your plant from the pot that you got from the nursery or from the store of your choice. So the first one that we're gonna put in here is our foxtail fern. So to properly remove it from the pot, I'm gonna take it and turn it sideways and the technique that I like to use is I'm gonna roll it a little bit here to loosen it up from the pot's sides. 
and then you're gonna go ahead and give it a couple of taps on the bottom of the pot while you're holding the root system here. So you're gonna wanna roll it, you're gonna wanna spank it a little bit on the bottom there, and then give it a good yank and it should come right out of the pot. see we've got our whole root bulb down there it's kind of a cool thing to look at now you can remove some of the bottom of this some of the dirt around here so that you have a little bit less to work with so it fits in your hole here I'm gonna do that a little bit all right I'm gonna go ahead and place it in my hole which I dug all right looks like a great fit next thing you're going to want to do is grab your bag of garden soil and we're going to use this soil to fill in the hole around the plant. Got my tool here, my scooping tool again. Now if you do run into any earthworms or garden beetles or anything like that, they are definitely friends of the garden, so you're gonna to wanna to leave them in the dirt. They help your plants thrive. I know sometimes those earthworms, they look a little slimy, but they're definitely friends of the plants. All right, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you fill in all the way around your plants. You're gonna pat the soil down around your plant. Make sure that it's nice and tidy. It's nice and snug like a bug in a rug there in your soil. And then after that, you're gonna wanna go through and dig holes for all of your other plants and go ahead and get them in the ground. Well, job well done, guys. We've got all of our plants in the ground now. They're looking good, happy, healthy in their brand new home. The very last thing that we have left to do is ground coverage. So we're going to go ahead and take out our bag of mulch over here and tuck the mulch in and around all of our plants here and it'll give it just a real nice finished look. As you can see guys, we've just finished putting in all of our mulch and we have a beautiful brand new plant bed. Don't forget to fertilize seasonally guys once you get your plants in the ground and after all that hard work, enjoy. Thank you.